Case closed. A Cobb County man who went to work and left his toddler son in a hot car for hours will not be retried in that boy's death. Atlanta News First here to walk you through all the details. I'm Alan Devlin. And I'm Tracy Hutchins. Well, it was in June of 2014 when Justin Ross Harris's son Cooper was found dead inside a hot car. Harris was found guilty of murder in 2016, but that verdict was overturned by the Supreme Court of Georgia about one year ago. Well, today, the Cobb County District Attorney decided the case will not be retried. And if you remember, this story got national attention. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon joins us live from the state Supreme Court tonight with these new details. Doug, what have you learned? Right. Well, good evening to you both. While Harris's conviction was overturned here in Atlanta in a press release that we got just a few minutes ago, Cobb County prosecutors called this decision to not retry his case a difficult one. Justin Harris, from the very beginning, had maintained that his son's death was an accident, a tragic one at that. 22-month-old Cooper Harris was supposed to be dropped off at daycare the day he died, but was instead left in a hot car, his father's car, for over seven hours in the middle of June of 2014. Temps that day reached well into the 80s and even hotter inside of that car. Prosecutors tried to argue that Harris was looking for a way out of his marriage at the time, and he is still serving time on conviction for sexual text messages that he sent to a 16-year-old girl the day his son died. In the wake of today's news, the Georgia Department of Early Childhood and uh, Early Child Care and Learning reminded everyone that it is their look again week. It's a reminder to parents and caretakers to always check for your child before you lock your doors. I think the key is to create reminders that uh, will remind you you have that child. A shoe in the back, uh, your briefcase, your laptop, your phone, anything that you would immediately look for as you were exiting the vehicle just to create that uh, sense of awareness. And according to NoHeatStroke.org, which is a nonprofit that tracks instances of juvenile heat stroke in the U.S., 943 kids have died of that since 1998, of course, Cooper Harris being one of them. We're live outside the Judicial Center in downtown Atlanta tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.